<laughs> I love my wives. They are really, really fantastic. You see, 11 years ago, Obama became president. He gave me hope. He gave me dreams that one day I could also become president of a great nation. 11 years down the line, I'm wearing an army uniform, calling myself President Bonjo because it sounds like Obama. <laughs> And terrorizing white people across the United Kingdom. <laughs> and I fucking love it. <laughs> 11 years ago, Obama became president. My wife bought me two books to read. She was supporting Hillary Clinton. I was supporting Obama. Obama becomes president. I have to say to you, it's as if my wife wanted to speak with Obama. <laughs> Every time she saw Obama on TV, oh, Obama is this. Oh, Obama is that. Obama, he can sing. Obama is... I felt very, very inadequate as a black man that this tall, lanky, handsome dude, my wife is fantasy. I genuinely, I'm sorry. I know my wife wanted to fuck Obama. There's no two ways about it. <laughs> so I read the books and I noticed there were similarities with myself and Obama. It got to a stage that every time I made love to my wife, I recited the Obama speeches. <laughs> <laughs> they said this day will never come. <laughs> they said we set our size too high. We were too disillusioned, too divided to achieve a common purpose. You have done what the cynic said you couldn't do. As we're about to come, we both said, yes, we can. <laughs>